Welcome to the Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, I wanted to talk about noise reduction software. Now, there's a lot of really good noise reduction software out there. I happen to really like DxO Prime Noise Reduction, Topaz Studio 2 AI Clear, and Topaz Denoise AI. In my opinion, these are the best in the industry. I also threw in Lightroom, just in case you don't have these other pieces of software. Lightroom does a great job, and I just wanted to show you how they all stack up one against the other, and see if you actually need these or you don't need these. Now, I myself, I shoot a lot of flower photography, and I'm gonna show you a flower image today. One that I shot on my Canon 40D, which is a older uh, DSLR camera, uh, not very good with noise, and I shot these images with ISO 1000. A lot of times I will shoot with high ISOs, so I find that I really need really good noise reduction software. And so that's why I've purchased uh, DxO Prime and also Topaz uh, denoising software. So let's see how these guys stack up against each other. So without any further ado, let's get started. So we're starting with an image that definitely has some uh, noise issues in it. As I said, I used the Canon 40D, an older Canon DSLR camera, shot at a high ISO of 1000. So we definitely have noise issues. Now we're gonna start out uh, with Lightroom using no noise reduction and no edits whatsoever. So we have something that we can compare to. Then we're gonna move into uh, some Lightroom noise reduction to see how Lightroom can handle noise reduction. Then we're gonna move into a nice piece of software that I really enjoy called DxO Prime noise reduction found inside of uh, DxO Photo Lab 3. And then we're gonna move into the land of Topaz. We're gonna to start out with Topaz Studio 2. Uh, Topaz Studio 2 AI Clear in the auto position. Topaz Studio 2 is awesome software. It's not only AI Clear, but it has a lot of different filters that come with it. So I love Topaz Studio 2. But it's great that it has the AI Clear to give you noise reduction and sharpening. Excellent. Then we're going to take a look at um, Topaz Denoise AI. It's artificial intelligence software. We're going to look at it in the auto position using the AI Clear model. This is a similar model that's found inside of Topaz Studio 2, but in my opinion, it works differently, and you'll see that here shortly. And then we're going to also look at uh, Topaz Denoise AI in the auto position using the uh, Denoise AI model. And then we're going to look at it in the... Uh, Denoise AI model in the manual position. And I think you're going to find some interesting um, differences here. So let's get started. All right, we're starting out with this Lightroom no noise reduction image. Now there's no noise reduction and no editing whatsoever on it. So let's go ahead and zoom in on it. And this will be what we can compare everything to. As you can see, we have a lot of noise in here, color as well as luminance noise and no sharpening has been added at all. Now we're gonna move into the Lightroom noise reduction where I've added noise reduction and a little bit of capture sharpening on, the, on a raw image so we can bring a little bit of sharpness back because whenever you shoot uh, uh, in the raw mode, uh, your images are always a little bit soft so you need a little bit of capture sharpening and all these pieces of software add the capture sharpening as well as the denoising. But I had to do it myself manually with Lightroom here. so. I've uh, reduced the noise and added a little bit of capture sharpening. And so that is Lightroom noise reduction. All right, so now we're going to come into the DxO Prime noise reduction. Now, I love DxO Prime noise reduction. It does uh, noise reduction as well as uh, sharpening on your image, okay? And it is found inside of Photo Lab 3. And pretty much when you take your image into Photo Lab 3, it's going to sharpen your image. It's going to add a basic noise reduction. But at the end, when you're ready to send it back into, say, like Lightroom or whatever into your uh, into Photoshop or wherever you want to take it next, you can add what they call prime noise reduction to it, which is really a great noise reduction and one of the best in the business, in my opinion. All right, so let's see. Let's take a closer look here. So DxO Prime Noise Reduction, as you can see, it's doing a really nice job. It's done a really good job capturing that, or reducing that noise and sharpening up our image. And I'm really, really happy. Let's look around the image here. Now this image was shot with a very shallow depth of field. So there's not a lot in real sharp focus, but there are certain areas that are very sharp, like on these 
I guess you call these stame and they're very sharp okay so as you can see here it's done a really nice job of noise reduction and sharpening the image wonderful piece of software before we move on let's see how DxO prime noise reduction stacks up against Lightroom noise reduction okay so here's the DxO and now here is the Lightroom okay so DxO and Lightroom all right Definitely uh, DxO is sharper. It's a better noise reduction. It is far superior. However, Lightroom is very good, but DxO is excellent. I know a lot of my viewers own Topaz Studio too. It's a great piece of editing software. And inside of that software comes a wonderful filter called AI Clear. And that's what I'm going to show you next. And I'm showing it, showing it to you in the auto position. I just put it on auto and clicked it and it's a one click wonder and it works great now let me zoom in and show you the results here so this is Topaz Studio 2 the AI clear filter as you can see it it eliminates the noise and it gives you a bit of capture sharpening which is really nice now the next filter I want to show you is a different filter but it's made by Topaz and it is called uh, Denoise AI and I'm showing it to, the, to you in the auto position, and it is the AI Clear model. It's the same model that Topaz Studio 2 are using, okay? And also, Topaz Denoise AI has another model called Denoise AI. All right, I'm going to show both models to you. But first off, we're looking at the AI Clear model in the auto position. And I'm zoomed in the same amount I showed you uh, Topaz Studio 2 AI Clear in. All right, so... So here's Denoise AI. Now let's compare it to the Topaz Studio 2 version of uh, AI Clear. And there's uh, Topaz Studio 2's version, and here is Denoise AI's version. I think if you really take uh, note here, I think you'll find that the uh, Denoise AI version is superior to the Topaz Studio 2. They're close, but in my opinion, Denoise AI, the AI Clear model, is a little bit better. Okay, now let's compare it to uh, DxO Prime Noise. Okay, so right now we're on um, Topaz Denoise AI, AI Clear model in the auto. Now we're going to compare DxO Prime Noise, which also I did it in the auto mode too. So let's compare. So that's DxO Prime Noise Reduction. And that is, and this one is uh, Topaz Denoise AI. So they're very, they're very close. The colors are shifted a little bit. Um... I think Topaz Denoise AI is slightly better. It is super close though. So, so far I'm looking, I'm liking Topaz Denoise AI in the uh, AI Clear model in the auto position. Kind of interesting. Next we have Topaz Denoise AI in its Denoise AI model in the auto position. And something very interesting here is it doesn't look good at all. It looks horrible in my opinion. If you really, let me zoom in here. Can you see all the noise in here? It does not look good. And this is again in the auto mode here. So it's not doing a very good job. It's sharper. Yeah, it is sharper, but I'll tell you, the noise does not look good at all. I'm not really happy with this one. So I'm going to say that's a no-go. I, I would not use Topaz Denoise AI in the Denoise AI model in the auto position. I wouldn't do it. The AI Clear model in the auto position inside of Denoise AI is phenomenal and, and probably slightly better than uh, a DxO Prime noise reduction. It's kind of interesting. Now let's look at the last one. And this is uh, Denoise AI. In the Denoise AI model, just like before, only I manually adjusted it. Okay, so now you can see by manually adjusting it, I got rid of the noise. I got some really nice sharpening on here. Let's compare it to the uh, Denoise AI, AI Clear model in the auto position, which I think is this one right here. Yes. So let's look at the difference. Yeah, this is the uh, 
Again, this is the manual denoise AI model versus the AI clear model in the man in the auto position inside of Topaz denoise AI, and it is still the winner in my opinion. So again, the manual denoise AI model versus the auto AI clear model inside of the same piece of software. Okay, so I'm going with the auto, which is good news because you it's really easy to do the auto uh, the auto adjustment. You just click a button and you're done. The noise reduction winner is Topaz Denoise AI, followed closely, and I mean almost a tie with DXO Prime noise reduction, followed in third place Topaz Studio 2 AI Clear, and then in last place Lightroom noise reduction. Now all these noise reduction softwares do a great job, but clearly Topaz Denoise AI is right at the top of the heap. Remember to use it in the AI clear model in the auto mode. All right. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video today, and I hope this will help you make a decision on which noise reduction software is right for you. And uh, all these companies, I believe, I'm pretty sure about this, give you like free trials so you can try this stuff. Hey, if you enjoyed this uh, video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. Uh, if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new training tutorial, you'll be notified. Also, leave questions and comments in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as quickly as I possibly can. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see each and every one of you right here next time. But until then, happy editing.